Howdy! In this video, we will be covering how to view, reply to, and edit discussion posts. To get started, click the discussion links in the course navigation menu. From the discussions index page, you can view all discussions in your course, filter discussions to view all or unread discussions, search for a specific discussion by title or keyword, and if enabled by your instructor, you can start a new discussion. By default, when you view a discussion, unread replies are automatically marked as read when you scroll past them. You can change this option by clicking the settings icon. Select the manually mark posts as read checkbox to keep track of which posts still need review when you view a discussion. Click the save settings button when you are done. The discussions index page is organized into three areas, pinned discussions, discussions, and closed for comments. The pinned section displays a list of discussions that your instructor wants to show at the top of your discussions page. The discussion section displays a list of current discussions with most recently active listed first. The closed for comments section displays a list of discussions that have been closed. Graded discussions display the assignment icon and discussions that require a peer review display the peer review icon. Dates display for graded discussions and for discussions with assigned to-do dates. Click the subscribe icon to subscribe or unsubscribe to a discussion. You can also view the number of unread and total replies in a discussion. To view a discussion, click on the discussion title. To search for a specific entry, type the author or keyword in the search field. To view unread replies, click the unread button. To collapse or expand replies, use the collapse replies and expand replies buttons. If you'd like to receive notifications of new replies in the discussion, click the subscribe button. If enabled, you can like a post by clicking the like icon. To reply to the discussion, click reply in the main discussion. To reply to another student's post, click the reply button under their post. Your discussion reply will appear below the initial reply and may appear as a threaded response depending on your course settings. Use the rich content editor to add your comment and any relevant content. When you've finished your reply, click the post reply button. If editing is enabled to edit your response, click the options icon and click edit. For more information on utilizing Canvas in your course, please visit lms.tamu.edu. Thanks and gig'em.